Alright guys, welcome back. And as you can see, we're playing Barbarian Invasion. Now, uh, as you, I'm sure you've seen in the title, um, all of, I went into the, I went into the files, and I made it to where basically the mercenaries are, all have, uh, three gold chevrons, which is, like, max experience, right? Um, so the merc the mercenaries are gonna be incredibly overpowered, especially compared to any of the regular units. So, um... What we're, what we're gonna do with this campaign, basically, is, uh... We're going to... Try and use as many mercenaries as possible! <laughs> um... I don't want to do a full mercenary only campaign. Um... At least right now. I think it'd be more fun to... Especially since I, I've yet to even touch Barbarian Invasion. So I'm going into this brand new, just like you guys. Um, but as you can see, we have uh, all of the reg all of the factions, and of course, I made it so you can play as the slaves. Uh, so we will be doing a rebels campaign, which will be nice. Um, but for this first campaign, I really didn't know who I was going to choose, but I got inspired by a video talking about the Franks, so I was like, you know what, why not, why not, we'll play as the Franks, you know, it should be pretty fun. Um, but other than that, uh, we're gonna jump right in. And I don't know if there's intro cutscenes or not. But there is a loading screen. <laughs> uh, but yeah guys, uh, I, I've just talking about what my future plans are going to be, I'm going to be re, uh, redoing the uh, Senate campaign because I didn't like how it, you guys seem to like a lot, um, and the fact that um, I didn't like how it turned out because that, that was back when I like didn't really have any idea what I was doing. I was just recording stuff using like Bandicam like, without even having the license and everything, so you had the watermark, the quality wasn't very good, <laughs> so I'm hoping, I'm hoping I can make something decent, and, and the thumbnail was, like, I spent so long on that, and it doesn't even look good, <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna try and, uh, redo that, I was wanting to get it in, uh, the remaster, but I can't figure it out. If I can figure it out, then we'll do it in the remaster. But in the meantime, we'll just run some of these campaigns. Um, I will be doing the Thrace campaign, like I said. Uh, probably today. Probably today. So you should see uh, either this video and the Thrace campaign on the same day. Or uh, this video and then the Thrace campaign. <sighs> but... Yeah, uh, one of my favorite things about this game is the loading screens, <laughs> but, I mean, I, I do think, uh, I do think the loading screens are worth the improvements, and I know they're gonna keep improving on this in some, some way. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully they don't just release and they're like, alright, we're done. <laughs> that would suck. But, we're gonna... I'm not going to edit out this uh, loading screen because it, it, it gives us time to sit here and chillax, talk. We could spit game with the fans. Alright, there's not an intro cutscene, which is fine. General. No. Let's see what we're working with here. How old are you? You're not too old, which means uh, yes. I don't really have to work. Where I'm gonna end up leaving him in this settlement. Yes, General. Let's take two of these. March. No. Let's check out the mercenaries. Uh, can I check how much experience they have? Well, you can tell by this. Uh, 19 defense. 5 armor, 8 defense skill. 
Oh, yeah, 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 right there, right there. See uh, how it has the three... I was like, those are really high stats for mercenaries, so they've got to be... Yeah, so it worked. What else do we have? Fotorati cow. Oh, man. These are expensive, expensive. But, since... That's also part of the reason why I did this, by the way, is... The mercenaries in Barbarian Invasion are a lot more expensive than they were in Rome Total War. I, uh, there's... There's even units that are like... 1200 like 1200 gold up front and uh like really high upkeep one of the examples is uh we're, we're gonna recruit these but look 364 upkeep it's insane so i uh, i think it's r only right that they uh Lord? that they have like some experience to kind of make them worth the money there are merc good mercenaries worth the money, but now they'll be even, you know, even better. Uh, the Axemen over Golden, the Mercenary Golden Band, that's what they are. Um, they were always worth it. They don't have too high upkeep. Alright, so. What we're gonna do is try and build up something to... There's not really anything to build up the economy that we can build. Okay. So, first things first, we're going to try and get some money out of... ...the Romans. You are going to head this direction. We'll just hurry up and snag those. I'm going to use him to make sure that the Lomb Lombardi don't... Moving into position. Don't come over and take it before us. Yes. I think that's really all we can do this turn. Vandals, paganism. Yep, and the Huns. They never really get this far inland. Um, I will probably do a campaign of like the Goths and trying to fight the Huns with some extra stipulations to kind of make it fair, but... My lord. That's, uh, My it's usually pretty fun. Okay, alliance, trade rights, map information. Right. Now, reputation is going to go down when we finally attack them, but what I want to do is have a strong alliance with them and just focus on expanding out here. Um, taking out the other factions because that's that'll give us a good power base before we can before we attack them but let's see how much I can get out of you I, I think they have like an unlimited amount of money too right oh yeah, yeah I'm not gonna be able to do that Okay. One thousand for... I don't know. Thirty turns? We'll see how that goes. Okay, yeah, see that, that actually changed it, so... Five hundred denarii for thirty turns? Let's see. <laughs> Balanced? Okay. We see no benefit to us. Okay. Let's try this again. Um Let's see how a thousand per turn for ten turns sounds. Would you consider? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Our thanks. Let's go. <laughs> All right, that's so. That's our money taken care of for now. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. <laughs> I love. I love how the AI just like. I or the how they what they did with the diplomacy. They actually did a really good job. I'm not laughing, making fun of it. I'm uh, laughing in the sense that um. 
the AI is willing to do so much based on how good the deal is. And for us, that's like not important at all, but for them, that's everything. <laughs> now, we're going to, since we're, we know we're going to have s some money. Let me see how much, uh, yeah, see, they don't cost too much. I need a little bit here to hold, hold that while we yes. make our way over. <sighs> But I will say, we're going to have to make sure this army yes. is up to scratch before we uh, attack these guys. Because, or mostly these two. Because they can uh, hoard. And dealing with a hoarding faction is not fun at all. Yeah, we still have a lot of money. And I, did, I didn't spend my money because I wanted to make sure that I had money for when I expanded. Yes! Because we're gonna have to build walls in those settlements. Greetings! Oh yeah, no. I'm gonna get some money out of you. Uh, how do you feel about a thousand? Is that still generous? What do you consider? Yep. Our thanks. Awesome. Get a little bit of money from them. Orders. Move out. All right. Any mercenaries? Mercenary golden band, baby. Oh, look at that. Thirteen morale. Thirteen. For comparison, I think the Spartans, uh, in Rome one had a morale of 12 <laughs> so these guys are insane and that's not even taken into account their other stats right so they cost a lot up front but the upkeep yes. is super manageable Besieging settlement. so now we can finally get into a battle go ahead and get this off Yeah, but I, I, I didn't want to just play through uh, a regular Barbarian Invasion campaign. Because uh, I've actually spent more time in Barbarian Invasion than with Rome 1. Which is surprising, I know. I've spent a lot of time on both. I've got hundreds of hours, man, maybe even a thousand on Rome 1. But I've, I've got even more on Barbarian Invasion. Um, and I may or may not do a Western Roman Empire thing. I feel like everybody does that, though. And I think it's something that we've all seen a million times, so... I don't know. Today is a good day to die, but better still to live! The bards will sing songs of brave deeds done well, and we will be the heroes of those songs! <sighs> Await my orders. Yes, spears. Spear warband. Wait for orders. Alright, we're gonna deploy over here. Units, double time, desert. I'm gonna put our Quickly. not so good Run. units in front of the mercenaries. Units, because the mercenaries are gonna be our. Quickly. The mercenaries are going to be, like, a last resort type of thing. I think that's everything, right? Yeah. Make sure these guys are on fire at will. Okay. Oh, are they going to come out? Oh, yeah, 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 they are. Okay. No, 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 not you, not you. Yeah, the, basically the uh, mercenaries need to be a last resort type of thing. Because they're so valuable. And I, I really don't want to waste them on a... Uh, on like, rebel units. Unless we need to. 
Because the thing, uh, as we all know, I'm sure, uh, the Merc, when you, you're, when a unit levels up, it gets, uh, a boost in morale. So, and in this game, like Barbarian Invasion especially, uh, morale is very important. I, uh, I played a Barbarian Invasion campaign, and the Vandals, dude, they just kept slapping me, because I had, I had some decent units, but it doesn't matter if they don't hold up, if their morale doesn't hold up. There's, like, it's so difficult, so difficult. Sometimes, sometimes. No, that's on very hard, by the way. This is just on, uh, medium difficulty. But yeah, no, it, Barbarian Invasion is really fun because of, like, what they did with the game. Like, what they added in, especially the night battles and the hordes. I think the, the main thing would be the hordes, though, for me. Just gave, uh, gave it a lot more of an interesting, you know, an interesting perspective of the game. Because with, uh, like, the goths. The goths are a perfect example. Hold on, I'm like, I sound like I have a lisp or something. Uh, the goths are a really good example because you are gonna, more than likely, one of the hoarding factions, the Sarmatians, the... Oh, no, no, no. Just look, stay here, stay here, stay here. I didn't know the archers were in range. That's fine. Let them do that. You go there. Um, yeah, right at the beginning, the Goths will have to deal with a ton, like, with at least, like, three different uh, hordes heading in their direction. So, it makes it uh, really difficult, especially for, like, new players to hold out. So, the fact that you can just hoard uh, as long as you have a city and they take it, it makes it a lot easier to... And you... <laughs> After you hoard, it teleports you away, which is really smart. The enemy warlord shows his worth. Nothing. Any of our uh, warriors would die rather yeah, than run. Imagine, imagine hoarding. You're, you feel like, you're like, all right, we're finally safe, and then you respawn right outside the city with <laughs> the Huns, like, because the Huns are extremely move, difficult hurry. to deal with. Not extremely difficult, but like for hurry, move, hurry, like the Goths. Like, at, by the time the Huns get to you, you're not going to have the kind of cavalry you need to combat them. So, it makes it a little difficult to, to deal with them, but I'm glad they teleport you away. The enemy Victory is the reward of warriors! Great victories like Flawless this victory. go only to the I don't know if that was I got a good amount of casualties. I don't know about that. I'll take it though. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, my ego. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I definitely I definitely think uh Barbarian Invasion did a lot of good stuff. Our land by Start as Union. Yeah, I don't I'm getting a lot of achievements and I don't I don't know why. Yeah, the game just thinks I'm super cool. Alright, um... We're gonna occupy. Yeah, look! We're getting so many achievements. This is sweet. Man, my ego is throbbing right now. <laughs> okay, um... This one, I'm pretty sure, boosts weapons. That's experience. Okay, we already have roads, which is good. We're gonna get some farming. Actually, no, 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 no. We're gonna get this, then farming, right? Because I want, I, I want to be able to train at least a unit of spearmen to hold the these, because they're gonna be pretty important to hold. Sir. 
Um, who should I go to first? Let's go to the Lombardi. The Lombardi are one of one of my favorite factions in Barbarian Invasion. I don't know why. Like they just they do have the Berserkers, which uh they're they're pretty nice, especially if you can get them some experience and everything. But I, I just like their starting position because you can you could if you wanted to you could just push over here and after the Huns sweep through down here maybe take Constantinople you can um you can push and just clean up after them <laughs> makes a uh, makes for a couple extra settlements in this area but anyway um, I'm not gonna. God. Retrain those peasants. We can leave these peasants here for now. Actually, can we just walk out without yes. and leave the peasants? Will the public order be good? Move out. And sorry if I sound sick. I am a little. <coughs> right as I said that. Um, I am a little sick while I'm recording this, so. But I, I, I just wanted to record it for you guys. Especially since the, I've been excited about recording the remaster. What is- oh, dude, I thought that was like a- I thought that was like a badass warrior or something. I was like, yo! Very deceitful. Shame on you. And you. I thought that was a berserker. Got my hopes up for nothing. Alright, he's really close. Is that the law? No, that's the Alemanni. The Alemanni, we're, we're going to kill. Well, we're gonna swoop down here and go kill the Alemanni. I hate them. I hate them with a the passion, dude. You guys have, like, in a, a lot of the campaigns I've played, the Alemanni will get trade rights with you. And then... Instead of just attacking you outright, dude, they have like a really good assassin or something because they uh they ended up killing they've killed my king and or my general with the Franks, with the Saxons, the Lombardi like a couple times, and it's always at the worst time too. I hate it. For all I care, they could like the Huns could just ally with me and. <laughs> They, fine, you guys take this land, but kill the Alamani. I hate them. I hate them with a the passion. Lord? Uh, we, with these mercenaries, we really have nothing to worry about. Whatever is in here will be handled. Settlement. The archers, peasants, warband. Yeah, 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 this is gonna be extremely easy. We probably won't even have to send in the mercenaries again, so that'll be perfect. Oh, I guess I should show off how strong the mercenaries are. I didn't think about that. Uh... All right. Await my orders. So what I'm gonna do is I don't really like the Federati too much. Yes, move. I do like these guys. So watch this. All right. I'll send these guys in behind them. Move, move, fire at will. Axeman, spear warband, fire at will. Hurry, my lord. And just have my yes. general. Barbarian warlord. Uh, so basically, watch this. These guys, Units. we're going to push them Units. up, right? Make haste. Yes. And I'm just going to have them rush the Hurry, plaza. Run. Warlord, hurry, move, hurry, move. Units. All right, good. It only selected them. Units, make haste. Attack, quickly. Oh, yeah, get those archers. Oh, yeah. This will be juicy. Juicy charge with the general. Belly. Yep, finish them Attack. off. Quickly. Those are the only things I was worried about too, so this is Units. perfect. Units, 
must make haste! Warlord, quickly! My lord! Alright. Go ahead and quickly. finish them off, they're pretty low. Oh, Pathfinder gave in a little bit there. Run. You get back. Got the general right here for morale. Ready! Spear warband! Lazarate, attack quickly! And I'm just gonna send them, uh... I guess I shouldn't just send them in. That'd be kinda... kinda mean. The enemy warlord flees from our warriors! Attack right, and yep. drive them Go back in the back. same way! You guys just let them handle it. The Fadarati will take them on. And the Fadarati aren't even good mercenaries. Unless you're fighting cavalry and even then. But look, they're... They're winded and everything, but... They legit, you could send in... Like, if I sent in the Golden Band, they would tear through this entire army that they had waiting on me. Like a hot knife through butter. They are dirty. Are they not throwing their missiles? There we go. Yeah, I don't... Dude, the pathfinding... With these guys. The enemy warlord flees from our warriors. Attack and drive them back in the same way. Yep. Alright, these guys are out of ammo, I'm pretty sure. Right? No, 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 no. They're not. They're not. Yeah, they're set here. But yeah, normally you wouldn't want to just send these guys onto the plaza. Because they have infinite morale, but... In reality, we have nothing to worry about. Oh, let them do their thing. The warlord of the enemy army is running like a startled goat! Hunt him! Goats make good eating! The you enemy warlord is dead! Slain by your brave You've warrior! You've done your part. Quickly! But yeah, look. <laughs> They've taken barely any casualties. And since these guys were the, I think the first ones to take casualties, we should be. Uh, we should victory is some. the reward of warriors. Great victories like this go only uh, to only the best. We only recovered five. Look at that. About 200 casualties. With normal Fodorati infantry, that would not happen. <laughs> I can promise you that. If anything, they might have broke. By the way, I just threw them in there. <laughs> Alright. Let's go we ahead and take that. Rule. The land is ours! Now here, we're gonna build... Once again, a palisade, recruit some peasants to maintain morale. We're good there. That'll be built in two turns. He's look worrying me a little bit. I also think in this, uh, in the remaster, they're less likely to break alliances, but I'm, I'm not 100% sure on that. I, I hope that's the case. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> They've got a full sack here. Usually they push up and take this, and then they go to war with the Saxons. Are they at war with the Sac Saxons? Okay, that's just us. Don't care about all that. Uh, where's the factions? Uh, Western Empire. Alright, they're at war with them and them and them. Okay, so they're not at war with the Saxons yet, so I'm guessing they didn't push up and take that. Oh, that's Amber. I was like, what the fuck is that? I legit just thought it was a pile of shit. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, the spy. Yeah, I'm not really. I'm not really trying to use him right now. Okay. Alliance. Actually, no, 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 no. I don't want to do that. Trade rights and map information. Let's just do 500 for 10 turns and see. What do you consider? All right, there we go. Our Perfect. thanks. Trying to swindle them out of their money. Tancred came of age. I remember that, that name. Uh, don't care. Don't care about that. Okay. So now that we've got walls here, and we've got some peasants to hold, we're going to push on the Alamani, which should be right over here. Yeah. Somewhere over here. So we'll, we'll head that way. Lord? Yes. Are there any more mercenaries? Oh, baby. <laughs> Come on. Orders? Now you guys are just flattering me. Move. Oh, man. They know how much I like them. Beautiful naked men. <laughs> okay. Uh, paved roads. Let's go with that. We want those settlements to grow. And that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. As usual, we've got to do that first. Yeah, guys, one of my favorite things to do is, like, building up settlements. I love doing that. Oh, they're... They're looking a little, uh... A little interested in what we got going General. on here. What do they have? Oh. That's an easy hold. I'm not worried. I am gonna retrain these these guys. Yes. But yeah, this is like it doesn't even look like a solid force, but these guys right here are already a solid force on their own, so. Building everything we can here. Let me turn down taxes. I want these to grow at least a little bit before we have to start going to war with the northern part. Okay, let's... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Where's my spy? You get over here. I, I need to see if they're over in that direction. Okay. That was a, was that a spy or an assassin? Yeah, it was a, sp it was a spy. Okay. I was like, dude, I better not. No, no, no. Oh, I didn't want him to go that direction. General, march, ready to ambush. Okay. More mercy. Guys, come on. <laughs> you guys see what they're doing to me? I have to buy them. They know this. Okay, what is it? Sewer. Really good farming. Let's get some of this. And while we're waiting. Orders. Get this. We'll start training up, um some archers. I think that'll help out our army quite a bit. Like, to put this in the perspective, these mercenary cavalry could prob- look at their stats, right? Now, their, their morale stat isn't amazing, even with the gold chevrons. But if you look at their- oh, how do you- <laughs> Yes. Uh, I, I don't know how to- Okay, well, <laughs> that that kind of put a damper on things, but yes. their stats are amazing, like on, on par with a general to an extent, so it's going to be really fun to play with. Alright, 
are they re are they rebelling? What? I've never seen this. Ever. My lord? That's crazy. Go up to the burgundy. Try and swindle them. Okay. We're recruiting archers here for when we finally take out the Alemanni. We're being ambushed! Oh, what? Oh, this is gonna... <laughs> this is so sad. Ah. <sighs> I was just, I was just a, like, look, about to look for them too with my spy, to see if they went back. I don't think they have a, uh, a second army, so, like, they have troops, but they don't have, like, a full-on army, so. Sorry for hitting the mic. Okay. So we got ambushed. Oh, they're running. Are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They might be. I think they realized they messed up. Okay. So, archers. You stand and fight. Fire at will. Fire at will. Fire at will. I'm double tapping it because I don't know. My lord! Okay. My lord! Hurry, move, run! Yes! Alright. Spears, mercenaries! Rats! 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 Right up there. Move! move. <laughs> Are they not firing? Oh, they're reloading. Okay. I was like, uh, guys, wh what's going on here? Alright, these axes will be nice. Like I said, I don't want to commit the mercenaries if I don't have to, so... Put these guy guys back here so they... When the cavalry does charge, I don't want it to just destroy these guys. Are you sure you want to attack over here? I don't think they know what they're doing, guys. Oh, they're f oh, they're just full on retreating. Okay. Go go go. The enemy flee from the field like frightened goats. Okay, get rid of those dogs. This is a great victory. The cries of dying enemies are sweet music to our warriors. That, that, that was like what? 20 seconds? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> we didn't take any casualties either. Oh, look at that. Look at that art right there, the berserker. Come on. That's the Lombardi. Lombardi. There we go. Oh man, they are beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's use our spy. See, yeah, they're right there. Okay. Yes. Move. Oh my God. Attack. Get out of the way. Fear us. Attack. March. At your service. Okay, he's in there. He didn't die. Not that I really care, but... I'd rather not... Rather him not die. Okay. Trade rights. Map it. Oh yeah, they, they, they don't like me very much. Five hundred for ten turns. Let's just see. Oh, very demanding. A most generous proposal. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to get anything out of them. If we 
we could probably go make our way down through here, uh, talk to people along the way. I think the Eastern Roman Empire, usually they pay quite a bit, so... Because by the time he gets down there, their economy should be balanced out. What do I want to do here? I, I can start forming up a second army. Which is kind of what I want to do. Train a couple more archers. While we... Yeah, these first couple turns are boring. Luckily, that's just a spy, and it's not an assassin. <laughs> lucky for that, lucky for them, because I'll I'll kill them. <laughs> but yeah, no, the uh, I hate I hate the Alemanni purely for that reason. I played as them one time. They have pretty sure. I'm like, I don't know if they took it out in the remaster, but I'm pretty sure they have, like, a really good assassin right off the bat. Because I've, I've had my my generals, like, assassinated so many times, compared to how many times I've actually played through the game. Get them there. Cavalry! Hurry! Get the Axemen. Okay, we're good. Where are they at? Okay, all of you. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm not gonna... Sure, yeah, I was like, you guys don't want to charge us. That's for sure. Alright, you turn off. Wavering already. Kill the general. The warlord flees from our warriors. Attack and drive them back in the same right. way. You have killed the enemy general. Now his men show fear. Now they may turn and run. Attack! Attack! Yeah, we already killed the general, so. Go ahead and try and chase down the rest of those guys, but. No, really. There's not really a need to. This right. is a great victory. There we go. Their army should just disappear. <clears throat> yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying this. My campaigns aren't as like crazy or entertaining as like um like uh Melkor. Legend Victory! and all of them. I just move out. Attack! I just sit back and chill and play the game. Okay, the rebels' campaign is the one of the story. That's so hard to manage everything. In barbarian invasion, it's extremely difficult. Extremely difficult. It, oh yes. man. It is, it's almost difficult to the point where it's not fun at points. You have to get really lucky and be a really good player. Oh, the rebels? Yeah, see? So, now that they put down the rebels, um, their economy is going to do a lot better. Can I be of service? First things first. Going to head over to the goths. Then we'll, we'll deal with them. We may or may not hear about the Romano-British, but they never last long unless they're played by a player, so... Not, not really too worried about that. Okay, um... Oh yeah, that's... It's not hard. We can do, we can do this. 
more than likely they, 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 they're gonna attack us hopefully so it'd be better for us to be on the defensive and then just shred them down with our orders our men um that's fine I'm, I'm gonna keep them in here we don't need them And then I'll, I'll probably take him to go up here and reconquer all that. Man, my throat is killing me, guys. I only spent one night on the corner, and that was all it took, apparently. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding, guy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Oh man, that was good. <laughs> Just pretend you didn't hear that, okay? <laughs> oh. But all right, we're we're doing good. Uh, let's get weaponsmith, because we can get our mercenaries upgraded up to. Look at this. Do I really want these guys, though? How much per turn are they? Yeah, I don't know about that. Like, look at the... Hold on. Look at the difference in morale. They are somewhat decent units, though. We'll take them. And honestly, I might use them to push on to uh, them soon, after we mop these guys up. But we're going to need a good amount of mercenaries for when these guys uh, eventually horde, because I'm, I'm going to slap their cheeks around, alright? I'm not going to let them, uh, not going to let them trouble me too much and they didn't attack Orders. okay we'll probably take this settlement and that'll be the end of this video but I don't know how long this video has been I've just been chilling so All right, they do have oh dang if we did a night battle they wouldn't be able to get the reinforcements that would have been sick but we'll be all right. <sighs> yeah, we'll go ahead and take these guys out. It all feels so good. It, I, I get a little smile on my face and a wet spot on my pants every time I kill the Alamani. Oh man. I, I would prefer the Huns over them. Not, like, danger-wise, but in the sense that, uh, of how much I, <laughs> how much I like them after they've screwed me over. I might have to do a little story time eventually if you guys want it, of what happened. What, like, the variety of things that has happened with the Alamani. Units, run! Units! Units, make haste! All right. The enemy are scared. They have brought even more men. No matter, we will count the dead later. All right, where are all their troops at? Uh... Okay. My lord! Move, move! Move, Let's go ahead and get them up. We should be able to handle this. With our Honorati. The battering ram is at the gate. Our warriors attack. Now is the time for great deeds. All right, they the battering are... ram is okay. at the walls. Our warriors attack. Now is the time for great deeds. They're gonna go into the city, which is fine. I'm not gonna. I'm not worried about it. 
Your warriors have broken the gate. The way is open. Let your men kill all the cowards inside. There we go. Yep, keep running back and forth. Your warriors have broken through the walls. Now attack! Show no mercy! There we go. Yep, keep running back and forth. If anything, we could just use these Fodorazzi here. Just for the generals. They're gonna take a lot of damage though. They're, uh, they're good units, but generals are... There's a reason why, if you're gonna cheese this game, or do like a disaster campaign, generals are vital. Okay. Um, You guys are going to take these guys out, get them out of the way. Okay. Let's go ahead and hurry up and mop them up. There we go. Alright. Shut up. Get you over here. Units. 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 Ooh, okay, okay. Yeah, they didn't necessarily charge me. <coughs> oh man, hopefully you guys didn't hear that loud sneeze. I don't know if it's allergies that I'm dealing with or what, but something is. And don't worry, it's not the the monetizable thing that I'm not gonna name. I mean, I, I don't get monetized, but I don't, I don't know how else they. What other consequences you get for speaking the devil's name? <laughs> All right, so got the archers and the axemen. The axemen up here. The archers up here. They have them. Yeah, they have them. It looks like they're pushing up the speed units. There we go. Soften them up a bit for when I, our guys get there. Turn on the fend. Yeah, with this little force here, we should be alright. Don't even have to really get the other mercenaries involved. Hopefully. Yep. Yeah. Hopefully the general will push into here. Come on. Push in. Push in. You know you want to. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. There we go. You have killed the enemy general. <laughs> now his men show fear. Now they may turn and run. That was attack! Beautiful. Attack! Dude, he like grazed, like slightly touched these guys at the front. The enemy general is dead. <laughs> so good. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that was so good. I, I don't even know. <laughs> uh. That's like the equivalent of a general running headfirst into a phalanx, except that it's not, it was just some spear boys. Yeah, we'll just sit here and chill until... Oh, are we out of ammo? Oh. Alright, let him push up then. Come on, look at that. Units! Alright, push up. Get the axemen up with them. Quickly! Quickly! Warlord. We just keep the general here for Hurry. even better morale. Waiting for orders. Yep, units, close it on. Move, move! Run! Run! Axemen! Charge! 
They're gonna break. I know for a fact. It's not a question of if. It's just a matter of when. The enemy king has gone to meet his ancestors. His go. lackeys now rightly fear us. Hold on, keep putting in the wet work. Alright. Where is that? That's Units noble cavalry. Hurry, move. Where's the axes? Oh, oh no. Quickly, oh no. Hurry. Get out of there, get out of there. Quickly, quickly. All of Units. you just push up on them now. They're off the town center, hurry. so. Yeah, now that they're off the town center, it should be a little easier. Then in the, uh, I didn't know those archers. Those, that little bit of archers just... There we go. Yep, you get in there. Uh, the don't enemy die. Flee. Don't die. Victory is the reward of we warriors. We did take more casualties, Great victories like but this go only to the best. Let's see. Spear war ban. No, no casualties healed. <sighs> oh wait, that's not us. That's not us. Okay. Well, I, I accidentally clicked out. <laughs> <sighs> Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. I'm having I'm having fun just talking to you guys. Beating cheeks. Victory! Killing factions. You know how it is. The land is ours. <laughs> oh. I wonder what I'm gonna do, guys. Poor Swaby. Yep, yep. <laughs> Cause the this is these are the this is the lands of the Swaby, yeah, yeah. Listen, it, it, you guys I don't wanna give you guys a history lesson. I was gonna go. I was gonna go into deep lore, but oh, so nice, Razy now. Yes, ah, just take it in, boys. Take it in. Beautiful. Ah, yeah, man, that felt better than sex. <laughs> That was so nice. I, I I can't stand the alimony. And we can retrain from here. Our Fadarazzi did take a lot of casualties. General. As a matter of fact. Okay. And we'll be able to get these guys some archers. Um, I'll probably get some more infantry while while I'm here after I retrain. But yeah, uh, so this first episode we did we did a bit. We ca captured all these settlements, killed the Alamani, which was our is going to be the greatest achievement we'll ever achieve until we capture Rome. Uh, I, I will say, uh, part of my plan is to not attack uh, Rome here. Instead, take Britain. That's always a safe uh, safe source of money, because they, they never attack Britain. So, But anyway, um, hopefully you guys have been enjoying uh, this relaxing gameplay. Um, if you have any comments or any feedback you want to leave, uh, leave a comment. Um, and if you're feeling extra juicy and thick, leave a like. Um, and if you have anything 
uh, any specific faction you want me to play, let me know. Or if you want to see me do, like, uh, I don't know, challenges or something, if you have suggestions, let me know. Um, but other than that, uh, I will catch you guys in the next one. Uh, peace out.